What is up, B's, G's, and everything in between? This is Yoli, and I'm here. I'm a Miha, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, last night, I was on Twitter, and my friend, who I'm not going to call a feminist, because I don't know if she identifies as a feminist, um, and I wouldn't want to misidentify someone there. And, um, yeah, she was retweeting a lot of things, uh, a lot of tweets containing the hashtag yes all women. So I did some Googling. Went online, well, obviously I went online, then it did some Googling, and I discovered that it was all spawned because of the uh, the shooting. I'm not going to say the dude's name because he was a dick, and I'm not going to give him any more attention. Um, but basically, he felt like he was entitled to uh, the attention of women, and uh, be- because he was smart, in air quotes, and uh, because of his status. Um, f- <laughs> ironically, though, he only killed two women out of the seven people he killed. Um, including himself, which he was retarded, so we're gonna just leave that there. But anyways, this spawned the hashtag Yes All Women, which my friend was retweeting. Some of the stuff she was retweeting, though, I could just not get behind, and I can't stress this enough, um, I'm very much pro-equality. I have no problems with any gender or non-gendered people. I just... I would love for the world to just be equal. I would love for women, men, pansexuals, trans, any sexuality, any gender. I don't, I don't know all the genders, but any whatever you consider yourself, I have no problem with you. You're a human being. I, it's you, whatever. If you're, if you're a dick, then I'm gonna have a problem with you. But if you're a human being and you're just cool, regardless of your sexuality, your sex, or gender, I no problem with you at all. But a lot of these tweets seem to negate that, and a lot of these tweets uh, seem to not be aware of what they're doing a lot of the time they're 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 hindering their cause a lot more than they're um bringing it to the forefront and and really making a a debate and discussion they're stating things that are very that was my dog chewing on his toy by the way (laughs) um they're stating things that aren't female or 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 gender issues they're not gender issues they're just issues and they they make them into gender issues and um there are a few tweets that i can get behind like uh hashtag yes all women because apparently the clothes i wear is a more valid form of consent than the words i say uh now i i'm gonna admit that rape isn't necessarily a fucking woman problem or female problem but it is a problem and i'm gonna give this to this hashtag, I can I can get behind this tweet. I would retweet this because uh, you can't blame the rape victim for being raped. They're not the ones making the moral decision to violate another human being's body. Um, another one I could kind of get behind, just kind of, and I I don't think I'd retweet it, but I'd get behind it. Uh, I, this one is from at Yes Old Women, which the rest of these tweets from this account I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna read some of them later, but they're fucking stupid. But um, uh. This tweet is, a uh, cool story, babe. Now make me a sandwich shirt. Doesn't break the dress code, but a girl's dr- uh, bra strap does. Hashtag yes, all women. Um, no, I don't think that any one of those shirts should, or uh, any any one of those, uh, cool, the shirt or the bra strap should be, uh, should be banned by the school dress code. I think if a guy wants to wear, um, or even a woman wants to wear that shirt, cool story, babe, make me a sandwich, wear that shirt. You're just going to be... Every, from everybody who matters, they're going to look at you and be like, oh, this person doesn't matter at all. Like, this person's opinion should be discarded. And whatever, that's that's what's going to happen. If you want that to happen, you have the right to make that decision and do that. And some people, some feminists might think like, well, Yoli, like, would you be okay if he was wearing a fuck niggers shirt? He could be wearing a Ku Klux Klan outfit. I don't care. They're he, they're going to be treated differently. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to face the immediate social consequences. And you might, again, say, well, that cool babe st- or cool story babe uh, shirt, um, it, it doesn't have the same consequences as, like, if someone wore fuck niggers or, or um, the Ku Klux Klan outfit to school or whatever. They're not going to get the same social response. If anything, they might get praise. Yeah, by stupid people. Educated people, the people who matter, again... They're not going to take them seriously. Their opinion doesn't matter. They, they've already showed that they've discredited themselves. It was a joke by a comedian, which I'm not a big fan of this comedian, but I don't remember his name. I just I just know I'm just not a fan because I would remember his name. Um, his joke was, I wish people just wore a, a sign that said, I'm stupid, so you don't have to waste your time. They're wearing that sign for you. Why would you want them to take it off? Now you now they're just everyone else. Um, yeah, let them wear the sign. Um, yeah, like those are two... Those are two tweets that I could kind of get behind, even though I have problems with them, I could, I could see myself getting behind that and supporting that, and, um, yeah, there, but there are others that I just, I cannot get behind, they're so stupid, 
Um, this is one of them. This one is um, a tweet uh, containing not all men. This was tweeted by a woman. Um, and, like, not all men was spawned in response uh, to, yes, all women. Because, like, it, what the fuck, guys? Come on. Anyways, um, not all men, uh, hashtag not all men, understand it. it's not all about them. Yeah, we understand it's not all about us. I don't care who it's about. I just want it to be about something important. And I want it to be about equality. This person doesn't get that it's not about them. It's not about women. It's not about men. It's not about, it's not about, like, putting it on anybody it's not about putting it on a gender like the attention it's about just making sure it's equal and like i can't like i don't even understand how to articulate this thought but it's it's about just equality it's it's not about putting the attention on anyone and uh again i couldn't get behind that tweet but um this tweet uh, there's another tweet that i just I, i found just incredibly insulting um, and this was tweeted by a man. Um, because I don't want to see any fear in a woman's eyes when you ride an elevator alone together ever again. Now I understand. Hashtag, yes, all women. Okay. If me being a man makes you fearful or makes you scared, just me standing there in an elevator trying to get to where I'm going, not even paying attention to you, makes you nervous and fearful, and that's not my problem. I didn't do any... I. I can't help that I'm a man in an elevator trying to get to where I'm going. I'm sorry. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do? It's not my fault that you're nervous. I'm not saying it's your fault, but it's definitely not mine, and it's not any man's fault if they're just standing there. Not, like, if they're, like, trying to touch you and stuff, like, like trying to make, like, uh, sexual jokes or conversation, like, making you feel uncomfortable, then they're doing something to actively make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it's their fault. They're being a douche, and uh, you have the right to feel uncomfortable. And uh, I'm not saying that you don't have a right to feel. I, I misspoke there. You don't. You have the right to feel uncomfortable at any time you want, but it's just stupid to feel uncomfortable um, if I'm just standing there. Like I can't help the fact that I'm a man in an elevator trying to get to where I'm going. Um, but yeah, um, another one is uh, my college sells pepper spray in the student store like it's a necessity, along with pens and papers. Hashtag yes, all women. <sighs> Pepper spray isn't sold exclusively to females, and yeah, I'm be- I bet a lot of females buy it, and I would buy it. I would fucking buy it just just to have pepper spray, just to make sure like I don't want to get robbed. Uh, I would I would just want protection. Not all guns are sold to women, uh, so why the fuck would you make the assumption that this is only for women? Yeah, like men get raped too, men get robbed, they get attacked um, just as often, if not more, than women. Uh, like to make like why would you like you're critiquing the sale of pepper spray? I'm for the sale of pepper spray because there are some people who just will violate um your rights so you need to have some sort of protection and uh to say that that is a female issue it it, it, or just to say that that's a gender issue in general that's it's you're completely negating the point like pepper spray like it's 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 a weapon in self-defense that's all you that's all it is it's not it's not it's not uh, marketed in a certain way towards women, unless it is, and I don't, maybe it is. I don't know, <laughs> but it's not. Um, it's not designed for women. It's designed for people to use. Um, and I feel like this person uh, just hijacked the idea and just and made it, made made an made an issue into a gender issue when it didn't need to be. But um, yeah, and I, I'm gonna read just a few more that I have a problem with, just because. I, I just feel like venting right now, um, because uh, this this one is from uh, at yes all women, and I would recommend going uh, to see this person's uh, Twitter account. I don't know if it's a girl or a guy, but um, or some other gender that I'm not aware of. But um, yeah, uh, just read it, and uh, it, it's and some of them are just really stupid, but. Um, I feel like I, I, I kind of don't want to read these, but I do at the same... I'm going to read just one, then. Um, this one, I guess, kind of falls... Um, uh, you know what? I'm going to read this one. This one, I think, would be, like, the best way to end it. Um, it says, uh, And if you're complaining about the hashtag, uh, yes, all women tweets or unfollowing slash muting people over them, congratulations, you're part of the problem. No, you're fucking part of the problem. You tw- you're tweeting things that aren't gender issues and you're making them gender issues and 
I can't stress that enough that to to just to unfollow someone it's just childish and muting them is just childish but um and again it, I wouldn't do it I didn't unfollow anyone who was retweeting it or muted anyone because I want to I want to see what they're saying and I want to be able to critique everything I want to be able to look at it and be like is that a, do they have an actual point or whatever and uh there's some people who are just like they're just not being like there's some Twitter accounts where I could have unfollowed and I would have missed nothing. They they added nothing to the conversation. And if you can c- correctly identify that, by all means, unfollow them or mute them. I I wouldn't, but um, you're not part of the problem. They are part of the problem. They're hindering your your cause. I don't think you understand it. And, and I said you're there, and I and I misspoke. I meant to say our problem. You you or our cause rather. Um, this is this is not like. A woman's problem. This is a gender issue. We're all part of it. Like, I can't stress this enough that it's a person. It's a, it's a problem of equality and just treating people equally and p- treating people right. And it, to make things gender issue is to divide people. And what they're doing here, a lot of the people using this hashtag, not all of them. Again, some of them had some genuine points that I could get behind and I could actually say yes. Like, you have a point there, and you need to. You need to express it and, and get people behind you and, and, and get people to um, to identify this. But for the for, for the most part, a lot of the problems were non-problems or, or issues that weren't gender, gender issues made into gender issues. And you, you're, you're hindering your cause and you're making, you're dividing people. And it's completely counterproductive to the idea of equality. And I think it's foolish, childish, and it needs to stop. But anyways, anyways, guys, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my little ramble. I felt like I needed to do this. By the way, this video took me like an hour and 45 minutes to do, which is pretty sad because I don't even think it turned out that good. But um, anyways, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. Peace. Too harshly, like I just pulled too hard. And uh, I was like, oh, God, <laughs> this is fucking awful. And uh, yeah, I was just walking. I, we went back inside after that, and I was just fucking mad. <laughs> like, I was telling everyone, I'm like, God damn it, it's bullshit. Like, everyone was just like, yeah, it sucks. Probably won't get high the first time anyway. It's, like, it's bullshit. Like, I was so mad. I wanted to get high. I wanted to see what it, I wanted to see what it felt like. And I was so mad. <laughs>